Welcome and thank you for watching. In this tech tip episode, I will be demonstrating how to access and use our one click auto installing software called Softaculous, which is included with your cPanel web hosting account. To access the auto installer, you must first log in to your cPanel web hosting account. Once you are logged in, scroll down to the Software and Services tab, then click on Softaculous. From inside this auto installer, you will have the ability to choose from a list of 175 plus web applications and install it directly to your website without having to upload and configure the scripts manually. In this demonstration, I will show you how easy it is to install WordPress to a live website. First, choose the category Blogs from the left menu. Next, locate WordPress from the list of the blog software and click the title WordPress. On this page, you will be presented with the description of the software as well as a rating and space requirement for the installation. If you want to view a demo of the software before you install it to your website, click the demo link located at the top of the page. When you are ready to install, click the install link located at the top of the page. From here, you will be presented with a few options for configuring your new WordPress website. The first option is protocol. The only time this will need to be changed is when your website needs to be secured with an SSL. Note that this option requires the purchase of an SSL annual license. The next option is choose the domain you would like your WordPress installed to. This will normally only show one domain unless you have multiple domains hosted from a single account. The next option asks you which directory you would like your WordPress installed to. If you want your WordPress to be installed to the main website and not a subdomain, erase the what, what is in the box, otherwise type the name of the folder you wish to install to. We will leave ours as WP for this demonstration. The next option is database. If you have a specific database name you wish to use, you can change it here. Otherwise, leave it as default. The same goes for table prefix. The final option you will need to edit is the site name, description, as well as the admin login, username and password, as well as email address. Once you edit these options, to your likings, click the install button located at the bottom of the page. We now have successfully installed WordPress to our website. This concludes the demonstration of Peak's auto installer software for cPanel web hosting accounts. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future episodes from our Peak Internet Tech Tip videos.